Hi guys, I'm Dr. Mike, a board certified medical doctor and today we talk about NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, the so-called anti-aging miracle that's supposed to keep us all young, sharp and looking like we just walked out of a Marvel movie. Oh, seems like I added the wrong footage. That was for my TikTok dancing channel. The internet is full of claims that NMN boosts energy, reverses aging and improves brain function and everything else. But does NMN actually work? Let's find out. NMN is a precursor to NAD, which is a fancy way of saying your body converts NMN to NAD. NAD itself is essential for life because your cells need it to produce energy, repair DNA and regulate cell signaling. So why not just take NAD directly? One reason is that NAD is a relatively large molecule and carries a charge, making it harder for it to cross cell membranes. When taken orally, it gets broken down in a digestive system and leaving little intact NAD to reach the bloodstream or cells. That's why researchers turned into precursors like NMM, which can be absorbed and converted into NAD more efficiently. If you wanted to take NAD directly, you would have to get it intravenously, which is inconvenient and very expensive. As we age, NAD levels drop. But here's the thing, we don't actually know if declining NAD levels cause aging or if dropping NAD is just something that happens as a consequence of, consequence of aging. Think of an old car. Over time, both the engine and the battery wear out. Now, if the battery dies, you might think that swapping in a new one will fix everything. But if the engine is also failing, that new battery won't magically turn that car into running like a new one. What does the research say? Most of the excitement around NMN comes from mouse studies that showed that NMN improved energy metabolism, insulin sensitivity, mitochondrial function and even extended lifespan. Another study found that NMN improved blood vessel function in aging mice. But here's the thing, we aren't mice. Mice in these studies live in a complete regimented life. They eat at the same time every day, they live at a constant temperature, they have no stress from work, finances, or a spouse that keeps reminding them that their YouTube channel is, let's say, only modestly successful. Basically, the only way we could get a human trial as controlled as mouse studies would be to put people in a Truman Show style experiment. And let's be honest, that's not happening. The only way we might get real longevity data is in the future, is if in the future, AI simulations get sophisticated enough to model human aging. And even then, I'm not entirely sure how we account for all the environmental factors nobody's really considering. Things like pollution, food quality, light exposure, the infamous microplastics, microbiome composition and even social interactions. These all influence aging in ways we barely understand and yet they're nearly impossible to control in a real-world study. And beyond that, things that work in mice often fail in humans. Take Alzheimer's for example. Dozens of drugs have cured Alzheimer's in mice, yet they did absolutely nothing in humans. Same with cancer treatments, sepsis drugs and even resveratrol, which expanded lifespan in mice but had no proven longevity effects in humans. David Sinclair will hate me for saying this. He does look like a Bond villain in this picture, but back to NMN. So just because NMN does something in mice, doesn't mean it works in us. What about human data? There was a recent study where 80 middle-aged adults took NMN for 60 days. Here's what I found. NMN increased blood NAD levels, which is expected. Physical performance might have improved, but it could have also been just a placebo effect. Biological age stayed the same. Insulin sensitivity, no difference. Side effects, non significant. So, what's the issues with this study? First, 60 day study is way too short to say anything about longevity. Aging is a lifelong process. Second, 80 people is just a tiny sample size. Third, they used the biological age measurement that's not the gold standard. 
epigenetic clocks would have been more reliable and even with those I'm not entirely convinced as there are around two dozen different ones. ones. So which one is the best and which one is the most reliable one? And here's something else to consider. The study was funded by an NMN supplement company, which doesn't really mean it's fake, but let's just say it's not exactly unbiased. So where does this leave us? Well, NMN does increase NAD levels and it might have some metabolic benefits, at least in mice. But right now there is no robust data proving it extends lifespan or prevents aging in humans. And if you've got cash to burn, go ahead or you can just wire it to me. But don't expect miracles and don't let it distract you from the basics, sleep, exercise and a solid diet. I don't take NMN or NAD and I don't intend so in the near future. I don't think it's worth it. If I had mice though, I would feed it NMN so that it lived longer. Hope this helps. Till the next time. Bye bye.